Welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers Comments 11. I'm not going to play the normal intro uh, for this one. I'm going to just do a, a unique introduction to it simply because it's going to be mostly centered around the final comment, which is a very, very long comment. Uh, wouldn't be complete without including some troll activity, and this I would construe as troll activity within the context of this channel, which I would like to remind the viewer is a correct sentence structure communication parsi syntax grammar channel. There are over 400 videos on this channel, the vast majority of which have to do with the wonderful grammar technology brought to the public by Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller. Now I do videos known as For the Coral Blade Grotto Broadcast, where I will do reaction videos to not only quantum grammar related videos, but videos that have nothing to do with quantum grammar, but have to do with periphery subjects, such as common law and things like that in philosophy. And I like to preface things by saying that these reaction videos are not personal, just like these comments videos are not personal. I am participating with what I call Kuliana. What you put in is what you get out. I'm not attacking anyone. I'm not picking on anyone. I'm not belittling anyone. What I'm doing is giving the energy that I perceive. I'm giving the energy that I perceive I am getting from you, the viewer, or you, the commenter. And sometimes I give it back equally. Sometimes I give a little more. Sometimes I give a little less. It just depends upon the situation. But it's never personal. Ever. Now some people may perceive it as personal because of the bluntness that I use. But it's not. In order for it to be personal, ladies and gentlemen, I would have to know you personally. We would have to have some sort of relationship in order for it to be personal. If I don't know you and you're a stranger, it can't possibly be personal. It can't possibly because you don't know me. <laughs> so that's what I mean when I say it's not personal. Now the one reaction video that I did do, which had to do with uh, an individual named Colon Muriel hyphen meta colon Biggs, I did say that was personal because I did at one point have a quasi-personal relationship with the people in that group that she's in, the Red Thumb Club. They made it personal with the way that they slandered me and attacked me and tried unsuccessfully to bully me. That's the only time, though. These comments videos are definitely not personal. These comments videos, as well as the reaction videos, are just for educational and entertainment purposes only. And the volition behind these videos is to teach the psychology of correct sentence structure communication, parsing, syntax, grammar from all different angles. You watch me and how I deal with these commenters. Depending upon what they bring to the table is what I bring to the table. And of course, the vast majority of the people who leave comments do not know correct sentence structure, and I do take that into account. However, if they come onto this vessel and they violate the peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal, and the honor and grace, well then, all bets are off, and I'm going to give back whatever I feel is appropriate uh, for the ages of the vessel. And again, this is for knowledge cultivation purposes only. So I hope that is cleared up a few things, and without further ado, let's get on with it. First comment comes from Colon Harris, Colon Diz, and they said, Hey mate, is there any merit is stating that non equals other than, rather than, no, and not? Question mark. Now what I think 
Harris is asking is that is there any merit within the buoys of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar technology of using the particle n-o-n and the short answer to that Harris is no and the reason is is because it's a particle of negation it's a negative condition of state and with correct sentence structure I usually don't convey negative conditions of state. I certainly don't use particles of negation in my facts unless it's in situations like this for the word pronoun, adjective, adverb, and I sick it. But for my own facts that I create, I don't use particles of negation. If I want to articulate a negative condition of state, I will usually use words like voidance or void or even lack, but I would not use non. Hope this helps. Next comment comes from Ruby G. Edwards, and they say, Religion, a strategy for division and tragic demise of the human race. Well, I agree with the first part of your statement, Ruby, that it is a strategy for division. I see evidence of that. But as far as a strategy for the tragic demise of the human race, I don't know if the demise of the human race would be tragic in the grand scope of things. I guess that's an opinion uh, based upon your perception of it. And the demise, I don't think religion was created as a strategy for the demise of the human race simply because if the controllers theoretically created religion, why would they want to kill those that they control? Wouldn't they just want to control those that they control so that they can do the slave labor and that the controllers can just sit back and twiddle their thumbs? Mind control mechanism. The Bible is full of his story, imaginary friend, and Jesus is merely a metaphor of a fictional story. Well, I definitely agree that the Jesus story is a fictional story. It definitely has correlations with other older religious and uh, historical texts. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a fictional story. Thank you for your comment. Now, the next comment is the centerpiece of this particular edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments. Uh, simply because this individual left a massive comment. Let me show you. This is the single most lengthy comment I have ever received. The amount of care and energy that this individual invested in this comment is staggering to me. Especially since I don't think they've watched any of my videos except for the one they're commenting on which happens to be the colon mark hyphen lowercase k kishon colon christopher video where i talk about him being kicked off of youtube and i find that his followers are much more articulate than the russell j gould followers and worshipers and that they leave very lengthy comments and not only do they defend mark but they also go out of their way to, way to try and criticize me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. And also they go out of their way to try and appear as though they don't follow Mark for some reason, which they obviously do, and this person obviously does, which you will see here in a minute. But it's just amazing to me that uh, the amount of energy that this individual devoted to writing this comment. So this individual is named Carla. And they say, wow, this guy does not like others' opinions, even not in agreement with his own, yet not providing facts, just weak arguments. Wow, this guy does not like others' opinions, even not in agreement with his own. So this guy, meaning me, does not like others' opinions, even not in agreement with his own. So I don't like other people's opinions not in agreement with my own. 
Well, that's logical. That, that's a logical assumption. It is an assumption, but it is logical. Most people don't like other people's opinions that aren't in agreement with their own. Way to state the obvious there. Not providing facts, just weak arguments. Well, I in that video that the Carla is commenting on, I did clarify that it is a video of opinion. And the only time arguments exist is the absence of facts, which I clearly stated it was an opinion. Although Mark was kicked off of YouTube, that is a fact. Uh, so it's not a weak argument. It is a fact. He was kicked off of YouTube. And I did provide that. And I just provided it again now. So then they go on to say, Ew, so much ego. <laughs> this is the biggest problem with this whole area and what holds people back. So right off the bat, I have to guess that this individual, Carla, has no knowledge of correct sentence structure. Simply because of what she has said so far, it betrays her an astounding lack of knowledge, which makes sense if they are a follower of Marcus Sean Christopher because he doesn't know the grammar. So let's keep that in mind. So she's saying this is the biggest problem with this whole area and what holds people back. What area is she talking about? Is she talking about the quantum grammar domain? Because if she is and she doesn't know the grammar, then how would she knows what how would she know what holds people back? With my knowledge, and this is a fact, what holds people back is lack of knowledge. The same thing that's holding her back from using correct sentence structure. People talking about people that in essence are working supposedly towards a pretty common goal are always sketchy. So she's assuming that people talking about people and they're working supposedly towards a pretty common goal. My goal is actually not pretty common. My goal is to teach correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, Carla. There are over 400 videos on this channel moving towards that goal. I have achieved that goal. It's not a common goal because I don't know anyone else out there who teaches this. If you know of anyone, please share your evidence. Because Mark certainly doesn't know it. Because if he did, wouldn't you know it? And wouldn't you be demonstrating it right now? I mean, that's a logical inference right there. I've been censored by YouTube for a video that was 100% just my own personal experience, but it went against the algorithmic narrative just like thousands of others who they don't want sharing their experiences when it might shake the agenda progress. Now this individual is being very vague, okay? Saying that they shared a video that was 100% just their own personal experience. But it went against the algorithmic narrative. What is the algorithmic narrative of YouTube? I would love to know what that is. Just like thousands of others. Okay, where's your proof of that, Carla? Can you name at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other people uh, who this happened to, let alone thousands? Well, let's check out Carla's channel and see what exactly she has going on over there. Carla Wilchuk, 15 subscribers, 24 videos. What if all your beautiful cells had everything they needed to work perfectly? Congratulations on, on the 24 videos and 15 subscribers. Certain keywords obviously trigger the bots. And that is why people are substituting code words when they speak. What bots are they triggering? I really don't understand that exactly, what, what people mean by bots. Um, what happens with me is that sometimes in the comments field of my videos, I will get comments from goofy spam accounts talking about, you know, a dating site. But that's it. And yes, 
at least a dozen of my videos have at one time or another been flagged by YouTube. However, I have challenged each, each one of them, sometimes using correct sentence structure, sometimes not. And in every case, YouTube overturned their decision, removed the flag, and every single one of my videos have been published. I vacated YouTube long ago for anything of substance because at some point you need to decide whether your time and energy is best spent fighting stupid algorithms or just moving to somewhere better and rebuilding. Well, Carla's time and energy was spent writing this massive comment for one thing. Uh, if she vacated YouTube, I guess she came back from her vacation because here she is spending time on my channel. You claim that your little expose is not personal and then it is filled with obvious vendetta. No, ma'am, there is no vendetta here. Just knowledge cultivation. Just kuleana. A returning of the energy that I'm getting. Keep in mind, Carla, you decided to come here to my venue and comment. Nobody twisted your arm to come here. If you would take the time to research this channel, you would know that it is a correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar oriented vessel. Okay? Over 400 videos attest to this. You spell out your victim position clearly towards the end. If you really cared about people or the advancement of this movement and people's well being, you would not be spending so much time and energy worrying about someone's decisions about big tech platforms. Well, Carla, I'm definitely not worried at all about what you're assuming that I'm worried about. If I really cared about people um, or the advancement of the movement, what in the hell movement are you possibly talking about? I am not involved in any movement, nor do I care about any movement. What I care about is the promulgation of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge. And to those who are serious about it, you obviously are not serious about it. You obviously have come here with your own agenda, which I am addressing and I am sussing out as we speak. And again, if you would take the time to be considerate and read the terms and conditions of the comments field, you would know that you are right now violating the terms and conditions of this vessel by trying to tell someone else what to do. <laughs> no, I am not a follower, student, or believer in any single human guru, including the people mentioned by you. Hold on. I'm getting a message. Our experts have concluded that that is a lie. <laughs> I have watched a variety of people's works, and when those with intelligence without big heads but bigger hearts come together, we will really have something. Really? And what will we have? An adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, family circus? <laughs> None of you so-called experts... By the way, Carla, expert is a particle of negation. It means no expert. But you would know that if you would study quantum grammar. I highly recommend taking that up. It, it would be a worthwhile effort. None of you so-called experts have it exactly 100% right. Have what? 100% right. Do some of us at least have it 100% left? Or middle, perhaps? Fair to middling. Two out of three ain't bad. How about that? And these time-wasting riffs are exactly the distractions the controllers want. Time-wasting riffs. Well, it's a good damn thing I don't participate with the concept of wasted time. Everything is a learning experience for me, Carla. Like, for example, I'm learning about exactly the type of character that someone like you possesses that would want to come on here, cared enough to write this massive comment and share your thoughts with us. 
How do you know what the controllers want, by the way? Are you an insider? Are you an agent? Are you a bad actor? I expect that you will use your underhanded way of belittling me the same way you did the woman that shared her opinion that I agree with. Well, first of all, Carla, I am not belittling you at all. I'm returning the energy that you've brought to my comments field. You chose to come here. Again, no one twisted your arm or held a gun to your head to come here. And definitely, it's not underhanded what I'm doing. I'm being flat out straight up with you. I'm flat out having a laugh at your expense. Flat out. I'm not hiding it. Because I don't think you're serious about anything. You're definitely not serious about grammar because you have not even mentioned it one time. And this is a grammar channel, and you have not even mentioned it one time. So that tells me you're not serious. Or you will censor it. I won't engage or care either way. Again, the experts have determined that that is a lie. Because, ladies and gentlemen, she has left a huge comment. She cared enough to engage with a huge comment. And it's not censored, as you can see. You can see all of it. It's right here for everyone to see. And so here we go. Oh, she's going to address everyone on the thread. Glean from everyone you can and be contributors, not drainers. This is not time for the latter. This is not time for the latter. Well, Carla, if you knew anything about correct sentence structure, you would know that time does not exist. And actually, there are two things you can be sure of with correct sentence structure. There is plenty of now space to get the closure that you want. But perhaps closure is not what you want, is it? Beware the false prophets that act like victims and focus on backing up accusations. False prophets. So a prophet is someone that foretells the future. And no one knows the future. So how can a prophet be false? That's interesting. Interesting psychological insight there. Act like victims and focus on backing up accusations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is always good to be able to certify your claims. There's no doubt about it. Align with your higher self connected with creator, your choice of words here. Align with your higher self connected with creator. Hmm. For this is a spiritual war. Ah, here we go. Carla's in a war. She has a warlike agenda. And if she knew anything about me, she would know that I am with the voidance of the participation of any war. Because if you consider yourself a warrior and you want to participate with war, then war is what you're going to get. So Carla can take her little war and go over there with Marcus Sean Christopher and they can go uh, do their little warring. This is a, a energy that creates worlds is ready for you to connect. Sending love out there on the either. So after all of this negativity, she ends with sending love. After all of this negativity, she ends with <laughs> that closer. Well, that was an awesome comment. Thank you very much, Carla, for the entertainment, for the laughter that you've given me, and hopefully the viewers of this channel. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this goes back to the three principles that I live by, or try my best to live by. The balance of the honor and the grace, the maintenance of the rule, one rule equal, and the position of peace and neutrality. And once someone comes onto my vessel, like she did, and voids the terms and conditions of the vessel, those principles are now off the table. And now you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. And there's nothing underhanded about it. I've made no secret of these things. This is how I convey my kuleana, depending upon how you come to me. 
if you would come to me with honor and respect, I would do the same for you. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't the case. So I hope you were entertained by this. I also hope that you gleaned a little knowledge cultivation of the psychology of this grammar and how I can ascertain someone's knowledge level. Like for example, Carlo's knowledge level is zero. And I know this because she didn't once mention the grammar. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn this grammar, you can contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. Or you can study the over 400 videos on this channel, free to the public. And you can also join the two tiers of membership here and get exclusive content if you join the second tier. All right, that does it for me. I'll catch you next time.